DK will take the power. I feel that's like that's of... kind of here that TNC want too, so it wouldn't be bad like block. Because TNC have no stuns, that's kind of a, a good reliable stun to pick out of a core roll. Yeah, and they don't have last pick. It's also here that doesn't care about Doom, really. Like, you're just yeah, well, yeah, tanky, you, you have all this health regen, you get Doom. Eh, whatever. Yeah, feel free to Doom a DK yeah. as long as he's got the ulti, even if he hasn't. Play. Yeah, disengage, come back. 13 seconds. This is serve time. Huh. They're really thinking about this. Do they want to... I mean, they have last pick. TNC so they could... They're serious Ooh. about their TB. Against the gyro. I mean, it's a it's so much AoE magical damage. I guess there's no disable, so you can get off the Sunder. Are uh, they worried? No, there's no chance TNC I mean, took they, that with Dazzle. They so. still have the still have the counter pick. Zeus is pretty good against against all of these heroes. Still don't have any stuns at that there's point. There's no yeah, there's no stuns. That's 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 the only issue. DK would still be I know you are how scared are you of this TB? I feel like if you just pick strong enough lanes, have a good early game, you can outfarm. Io Gyro. Well and, and just the timing of it. Like Gyrocopter does so much early and Terrorblade just runs around his illusions and like farms up camps. You like, know what you could do? You could you could technically still run an Elder Titan, which would reduce the Terra Blade's armor to yeah. zero, and then do a core dazzle. I, well, uh, I may imagine it probably is a core dazzle. So you'd you'd have the dazzle armor reduction on top of the Terra Blade or uh, the uh, Elder Titan reducing it to zero. So you would you would just melt the TV. turn to bad. Okay, so they picked up the same. Maybe. I, Okay. There's your stun. There's your they initiation. Needed, they needed the stun. I mean, now th that's they have plenty of ways to deal with TP now. Sanking. Yeah, like, uh, it's a classic, classic counter. Uh, unfortunately, the um, the caustic doesn't do much to the illusions. Like the way it used to counter was, you would get an Aghanim scepter, which would apply the caustic to the illusions, which would cause Terrorblade to explode remaining. if you burrow the illusions. But <laughs> it's still a lot of AOE damage to clear to clear Five the illusions and remaining. stun for him and. Yeah. It's it's very very good. This team needs to do a lot. Turn to ban. A whole whole lot. It's not a it's it's actually it's like a terrible doom game. You can't you have to doom the IO or he'll just save somebody. But then the dazzle just saves. Right. Um. If you doom the it's it's rough. If you doom the gyro, he won't do damage, but he just runs away with the IO. But I'm looking at this lineup. Like who else does things in this game? Like literally, it's just doom right now. I guess you had said that Lich can also set up for his own. Abilities, but it just doesn't remaining. feel like like he could also just get bursted by Sand King initiating. So they need a. So you think they need a hero in the mid lane that that does that does a lot. It that, does that runs around and, and fights. <laughs> okay. So Sky Wrath Mage is a hero that does that. Pretty. Maybe maybe this region's not super into that sort of hero in the mid lane. Uh, it would be like a puck. They do have do the. Puck. They could do puck. Yeah, yeah. Puck puck def definitely does stuff. Bit of an issue though with like damage there. Like the, there's, we talked about it. Like puck does a, like, a static amount of damage. Right. Kind of similar to the Queen of Pain, Ten although the coil is a lot better now. Yeah, you're not just Minus damaged about that lockdown. Sky Wrath Mage. It's a mid. Sky Wrath Mage. It's a mid. On the on the other side. Unless yeah. Dazzle's a mid. I like I like, I, I like I I like either as a mid. I, I mean I guess they could be flex. Right. Like they could just do whichever. Based on one. Yeah, but exactly, exactly. That that's the ni that's the nice thing about picking like these flex heroes when you don't have yeah. the last pick. It's like, all right, pick something that's good against both Dazzle and Skyrath and Io like, Gyro. Pugna here? Does Pugna own Skyrath? Oh, Pugna, Pugna, Pugna would be Pugna great. Good, I yeah. I think Pugna would be excellent because you you, you could actually damage. you could actually put, yeah magical damage against like a bunch of a bunch of armor. You would destroy the Skyrath. Okay, well it's a dragon. <laughs> It still pushes towers. It's it's still it's still like a tower pushing hero, which is good. It's it's the Doom Dragonite combo. We we talked about like you tank towers with the Doom and uh, Dragonite will just will just kill them. Uh, you keep the creep wave alive because Doom is just getting hit. Built into armor items. Armor's playing mid dazzle. They had very little time left on that last one. Oh, it's Ninja Boogie. Yeah. yeah. I I personally think that the the Pugna would have done everything you wanted Dragonite to do except more. Well, like less tanky, I guess. Yeah. I mean, if that's something you. I'm not are sure how DK about. does against Dazzle. Yeah. I feel like Dazzle would utterly crush a Dragonite. But every time I think that, Dragonite does yeah, well. Yeah. But it's like I get I get DK has the armor. I, got, I know he has the armor. He has the regen. But Dazzle Q. Mm -hmm. Can you can you just stand yeah. there keep, and keep getting hit by it? I don't think so. Oh, like, if he gets a Blightstone. Just... 
Oh that's, yeah, that's the move. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the dazzle whack. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> da- that the old dazzle whack. Pendulum going. Yep. Keeping that cue on. I don't know if you're on Blightstone. I think you stick with the null tally. Okay, fair enough. I, I, I'm not a believer in the Blackstone I would gaming. wager that he's going to get a second null tally this game. Mm. Possibly even a third. Yeah. Old prediction, man. Yeah. So when, how many null tallies is too much? Too many? I feel like the nulls are not quite on the same level of value as, as a Bracer. And, and Bracer, yeah. I, 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 agree, I agree. What about for Skyrath? Though? Unless you're Skyrath. Yes. Unless you're Skyrath. That's different. But, I don't know. What, what's the item build going Two I mean, it's, null tallies for sure. Yeah, two nulls, boots into Necrobook. So I, 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 I like the mana boots just because the cooldown reduction on them. You just constantly have mana for your team. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that's pretty cool sweet. Um, I do. I do like shreds just because it gives you so much damage on top of your minus armor. Yeah. And if you pick I, up like a shadow, I blade, just think he wants that Necrobook ASAP because it accelerates as well. That's true. And that is allows you to push. But yeah. Oh, Maybe see a Midas, depending how greedy he wants to be. Yeah. It feels like this is like the new Arc Warden, you know? You got cooldown reduction. It does. Like it really. It's like you, oh the build God. is the same, the concept's kind of similar-ish. What world do we live in where we're like, yeah, Dazzle's the new Archord. <laughs> like, imagine <laughs> telling yourself two months ago, this is what I'm going to say in the future. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? Uh, All right. Well, uh, we do have a game, ladies and gentlemen. It's scary to hop into it. Dota 2, it's new and exciting, and Dazzle's the new black. <laughs> Not the expression? I think that's it. I think it's Dazzle's the new Null Tally. Oh, it's the new Null Tally. Missing top. Lots of smiley faces in You're chat. You need to stop that, JT. Seems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good friends. They've all been playing each other against, against each other for a while. Showing a lot of respect oh, for yeah. one another. Oh, yeah. Long history with some of these. And then some new blood, you know? Players like JT and Moon. We're only been around for a shorter time. And I'm sure that they've been watching these other people play and, like, have, you know, sort of developed that. their own Dota plane watching them. Uh oh, oh be careful, Tim's. Goodness gracious. Ooh, Although man, he could he just tether, tether out. Everyone, yeah. Still. Break that tether. Re re Easy peasy, Lemon Scott. Tim's has. He is not afraid. This guy's a really good IO. I, I am very concerned that there is an Io and Gyro on the same team. <laughs> oh, they, got, they got three down here. They're ready for this. God. Have fun, Moon. Go back to mid with less regen. Damn, TNT got three runes. Is TB. TB's blocking mid and then going bottom, I guess. Mm. Oh, so they, cool. wanted T they wanted DK for the level one fight. Maybe they just consider him... I don't know. It seems a bit odd. Where's Lich? Lich is bottom. TB and DK are still lady. both mid. Are they waiting to see the lane? I think TB TB was just sitting mid, and so was uh, so was Doom, just to scout yeah. the lanes. Okay. And then when when they saw, we will find a Although, tri lane down bottom. Yeah, is this, this is TB versus tri lane. I don't know this. It'll do okay maybe at the very start with meta, but it doesn't sound amazing. Tri lane versus tri lane. Like, Skyrath is very wow. happy here. I feel. Oh yeah. Be careful, I though. Say, as I say that, okay. Jinx him. They have a missile on him. Ooh, uh, they blocked him. Oh, they didn't God. kill the missile. And that's meta down. Okay. Now you have to leave this aggro, for sure. Go. I mean, even with the IO dying. Where do you go? To? He's TPing bottom. Oh, he's TPing bot. I think Sky dying is not too terrible. Uh, he still had half mana, but... Okay. Guess the support's got some, got some levels. Yeah. Still, the, the TB not having meta, that that's really the big deal. None of the gold experience, first blood, doesn't matter. The meta is so important. Nice double net eyes coming up from these guys, though. Keep doing that on this lane. Like, Sky is going to make his move mid for a moment. Since they know there's no threat of meta, he can just mess with the DK a little bit and then come back bottom afterwards and try and make a move. Doesn't do much to run on a DK, though. Yeah, I feel like he should have just gone straight back bottom. You you need three heroes down here. With... Like fill a bottle or something. Now it's dazzling. Yeah, there's Dyer's there's Koreas. <laughs> Hasn't even come out. Yet. Oh, nice. nice. Gets the there. Centaur. Yeah, that that's always nice when you're a support. Sixty gold. No way. <laughs> no money. Dazzle keeping it pretty even there with the DK. You can get him in the wave with the shadow wave. If he wants to. What a beauty. 
Pop is the Sanking versus Doom matchup. Probably won't see too much crazy action, but Cuckoo, you know, this guy's a mechanical player. This guy used to play mid. He should have an edge here in terms of maybe the mechanical skill, but also, I mean, KPI, if you guess you go way back, was also. I have no idea who wins this matchup. I imagine it's probably the Sand King, just because he deals really well with melee heroes because of the caustic, but it's new Doom, so I, I don't know how much the regen plays into this. I don't imagine we'll see any kill. Well, you can also, it, no longer maybe rock caustic when you get denies, too. Yeah. Maybe Hard to deny if he's like a Quelling I, Blade, though, in a 1v1. I imagine we'll see Cuckoo just rush a Vanguard and be unkillable. Yeah. And Doom may even do something similar. So it's just gonna be tanky and farm. Alright, Sanking can just... He's, yeah, he's just farming behind the tower and farming the nudes. So we're gonna see Sanking, like, super accelerate. That, it's actually so hard to deal with him in a 1v1 if he uses the Sandstorm. You can't, you can't do anything. We're gonna send him a Sentry in a 1v1? Because you're not gonna have kill potential. Mid lane going for the even, bottom lane like harass still coming out. TP only 8 CS. Yeah, this is like the tri lane v tri lane meta where really the only interesting stuff happens in the tri lanes. Yeah. Is there... and I'm just looking at the mini map and I'm like, okay, Sand King's not even. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, he's doing the, the axe yeah. thing, you know, he's basically doing what most of those offline axes do where you farm the lane and the jungle That's... and just get more fun. Yeah, it's just a, such a great way to not have to worry about mechanics or laning or anything like that. Uh -oh. Just get super farmed. Force out the frost. Though. Such a hard game for the T boot. He like losing that losing that meta was that that's kind of the only way I think that they win this lane against the gyro. Now the gyro has levels too. Gy Gyro's really strong in tri lanes, but not not in the early levels. Once he gets some levels, he's just such a great early fighter. Scarith TP's to the top shrine. What's he gonna be up to here? Get some more down. That's a ball. I imagine that's not his ball. That's the same. I don't know what he's. I, I don't think. I don't think. He, his bottle. I don't think he killed a doom or, or a. Okay. Secure bounty runes. Bring the bottle. He's headed mid now. So yeah, it seems like it was just being a human courier. Yeah. I guess get fair. levels also for your Io and Gyro like. You would rather have levels on them than on the Sky. Yeah, they're actually yeah, doing fair. fine. That's and fair. Sky gets down the ward mid, he's getting vision, he's delivering items. It's, you know, it's just five position things. It's Ninja Boogie. He's he's there for the team. He doesn't get to have fun himself. And then, hey, he comes mid and causes a problem. So I actually think that was all pretty productive. Yeah. That and took a lot of damage. Yeah, so Cuckoo got uh, at least the one bounty he got rune. One. Doom got the other. And that's... He bottled it, yeah. so... It, What's his skill build on Sanking? Yep. Went for, okay, so he went for max. Uh, is this the hmm. build thing? Uh, I, I actually, I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what the build is. I know everybody levels the Sandstorm. I don't know if they max it. It's definitely. Jungling potential of it. It's definitely. Are scanning. I, I like the second point in Caustic just because of how it scales. You get a little bit more for the second point. Um, and then, of course, yeah. maxing the Burrow, you get. Extended stun. Yeah. Yeah. Sanky about to get a little get a level. Oh, that was doom. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that yeah. was nice. He should yeah. just be able to get out of there, or at least get denied, possibly. He's he's fine here. Two more we'll wear off, right? Oh, gets oh. the Ursa clap. Oh no. Okay, wow. he wasn't fine. The Ursa clap. Yeah, coming in big. Yeah, it's 50 mana now, so it's super super uh, mana efficient. To use that. Fairy fire, run away, trying to live. Oh, oh god. That was a nice prediction, but not enough damage. Yeah. Three null tallies. I knew it. Jeez. <laughs> two is not enough. No, if he two. didn't have the third oh, one, he would have died there. Yeah. That is insane. What's DK's build? I feel like that's not super high level breathe fire. Uh, two and two, yeah. I mean, you know, this is standard. Yeah. If he had a 3.5. A kill, but also, you know, he, he got pretty low earlier. <laughs> He's still in this. God. Radiant structures are fortified. Well, so far Radiant's so good for TNC, I would say. You're getting three lane basically for Gabby and Tim's. Yeah. Nice Sank can kill that kind of evened up this top lane a bit more. But yeah. Still overall looks like a slight TNC advantage. Skyrath level three though, we talked about it in the earlier series. Sometimes if you rotate, you're not Yo. getting kills. 
and You're TB just... level. I mean, I guess TB's level three too. <laughs> that's, but that's uh... just due to the losing aggro trial. That's going to happen. Yeah. Highlight Die is dead. TNC in early dominant here. ASI is crushing it. What's happening top? So Sanking is Doom goes bottom, but you don't really have any hero that can take over this top lane against Sank. DB's too low level. The supports are just going to be food here. So it seems like DK, yeah, DK bring in the mid. That's the uh, possible solution in a possibly a kill. Running. Yeah, he's actually down. dead. These deaths are costly because it's if he had his Vanguard already, he would be unkillable. But that first death where he goes down the Doom, and now this death is slowed down his Vanguard by a good couple of minutes. It's definitely very unnecessary to die there too. He was just yeah. asserting his dominance in that lane on the on the uh, Rubik. Like, there's no kill potential on the Rubik. He's just throwing bullets. He's like, okay, he's being Doom, Doom went bottom. And his team's probably like, okay, Doom's bottom. TB's level three. Your top lane is free, but the DK rotation perhaps the unexpected. Yeah. And that's what they need to do. They need to keep trying to take advantage of whoever they can, because for the next little while, it's mainly going to come down to the Doom and the DK to make moves or map. The issue with dying like that is, is just the, the new experience calculation. Like, you die on a farmed core, they get a lot more from that uh, than, than before. Like, it's, it's really on farm, and, and that, that's always how it's been with the, with the gold calculation for, for the last few months, you know. So if you kill a core who's doing really, really well in terms of experience and gold, you get a lot of experience. But like, it's, it's more so right now, like, it's, it's super on the, the cores to, to not feed in their head. Heavy. The minus armor out there. They chase down with the sky, able to find the kill. Bebby going down. Well. They're even moving in with Captain Tim. He's just walking through the jungle and gonna take down this tier one tower. TNC are not afraid of anything. They feel so strong right now. Yeah, they don't wanna they don't wanna play into the Doom. They know that the Doom was put in this lane for a reason. And he rotates because he knows he knows that he needs to be in the the lane that's getting pressure. Uh, he's just a big wall, essentially. That's that's like how this hero was played in, in this patch. You just stand there and be tanky and you can't die. <laughs> So they tried to avoid him, but <laughs> he just shows up. I mean, DK is kind of similar to this Doom, where it's just both these heroes, wherever they go, just feel like not really fine into them. Maybe I've the DK is a bit more killable. I've seen these two heroes picked a lot together. Like, I guess it's just the fact that you have these two very tanky frontliner heroes. You, ha you have to deal with one of them, and to, to do that, you have to use all your spells, and then there's just the other one that's alive and still does things. Is under attack. Like Doom's a problem if he's alive. DK's a problem if he's if he's alive. You know, you, you want to kill or deal with both of these here. All right, smoke up right now by Mineski. Heading down towards the south. They do have relocate right now yeah. for TNC. That's dangerous. And Sanky, I imagine, can TP. Be careful, Ninja Boogie gets initiated on. Armel does throw out the heal, but it looks like that's going to be the end of it. I'm rather than go for any kind of a great play. Unless those instant TP rotations, you do not want to mid in there. He doesn't end yet. They can actually defend this, I think. They should defend this. Yeah, they're going to defend this. If Sankin gets a stun, they'll be a relocate, and he's keeping in the trees. Look how many health bars he has. <laughs> this guy's so tanky. No Does, bracer. Doesn't even have a bracer. Yeah, I, I think I, I think he should have gone double bracer here. I think so too. That was actually, or at least get one bracer. Yeah. If he had that, his he probably wouldn't have died. Though. God, the health talent too. An SK. And bracers are just more cost effective than the Vanguard. Not that the Van Vanguard is already incredibly cost effective. <laughs> That's so. it's like Vanguard's so <laughs> cost effective, but bracer is just so good that it's more cost effective than Vanguard and Hood. Uh. Both of these items have been so cost effective for so long. I really like how the Gyro and Wisp are playing. Like, they're completely ignoring the fact that uh, Mineski is trying to pressure and they're just like counter pressuring. And if, they, if there is a fight, this is the problem with these heroes. Like, if there is a fight, they, they just relocate in. And th they're there. But they're also pressuring while s simultaneously responding to pressure by existing. Because yeah. it's always like, we have to be wary of this relocate. It's such a problem. No, and they're also, just here. in terms of like raw scaling, Gyro is. Farming while TB is not. TB yeah, is forced to like take a few jungle camps, and Gyro is taking mid tower, top tower, jungle wherever he goes, lanes wherever he goes. Yeah, they're happy. They're happy to play like this. 
Cuckoo's playing this like ice 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 plays offlaners. He will run to the dead lane and just be as annoying as possible and try to hold it for as long as possible. And then if he's gonna play like ice ice ice, he's about to die here. That's that's a strat. Well, they got relocated though. That's what? a bait. And they're okay. gonna be able to find Doom. Oh, silence chase down. Good tanky. bit of damage. They're slowing him though. He's so tanky, but there's also a giant problem. It's never gonna be enough. Magic damage. Yeah, even with the hood. Oh, but they're trying to get him on the backside. See if they can catch him out. That's not gonna happen. It doesn't look like it's the case. See, the, li the Lich is good. You know, this is a good hero, but when you're giving away Io Gyro, these heroes, they don't care about physical damage reduction at all. They just, like, burst through the entire Frost Shield. It does, it does nothing Did defensively. Did he even do this? Uh, that's a uh, damn good question. Very slowly, it, it seems. That does not feel good. Nearly level 8. Being a tough one for poor JT. He's trying he, it up to... He's killing the little the little purple guys because they give regen. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, you have to kill this first. And he kills the big golem next because it gives health. Oh, he's going for the, oh, what are you doing? the armor one. What are you doing, dog? This stuff's happening while that's going on. You should. You should, technically. Although he's not going to kill any of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, Oh, he's on the gyro. Okay, maybe it's I'm super low here, but no grave. Where's your grave? He still got heals though. It doesn't I matter. He's fine. I just got the air charges got now. Oh, jeez. So nice. Well, this I is had TP so... do. Oh, he didn't even finish <laughs> it. Oh. <laughs> oh man. I think he saw the five top and he's like, oh, there's a five top. My job is to now go push bottom. So he kind of. The good excuse for him to I stop killing. And this is the thing. Stuff. It's like. Compare these two heroes, what they do right now in the game. It's like, and granted, yes, TB had a bad laning stage, but holy snakes! It, it feels like TB's too slow right now with how fast these games are going. The thing, the thing with gy Gyro Io is that TB doesn't even outscale this combo. It's so strong in the late game. The Aghanim's buff to Gyro just means he has an extra like seventh slot, and he farms so quickly that he'll get to that seventh slot before you have four items on TB. This combo is unreal. I think part of this could be part of the reason why Mineski was having such a time, hard time at the draft. They figuring out what they wanted to run against it because pretty tough. But maybe maybe this is like a defeatist attitude, but I would I would I would rather play against almost any other combo in Dota right now than the IO Gyro. It, it just feels so strong compared to anything else. <laughs> Gabby's having a good time. Uh-oh. That's a terrible aid, man. Well, they've feared Ninja Boogie. He's going to drop his ultimate. Almost kills off the Rubik. And now Chain Frost doing That's a good a bit. Good Little Chain Gabe Frost. Coming back in. Oh, They're the bouncing. Centaur doing his part for the cause. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Doom looks like he is eventually going to fall. So they take down the Skyrath Mage at the cost of four other oh, heroes. Man. At least Sky's having a rough time. Maybe he'll tilt and throw. Uh, he's he's got four null tallies. <laughs> oh my god! No boots, quad null. He's no boots. He's going from Kaya straight to Kaya. <laughs> this is the, the beauty of having 335 move speed. Yeah, that's yeah. faster than some heroes with boots. Yeah, who needs Dyer's boots? Maybe go the move speed talent. Although I keep seeing people go int anyway. Yeah. <laughs> just don't need boots. Doing no boots, maybe you go. Move you just run talent. into fights, pop all your spells, and then die. Yeah, yeah. who needs that's boots? So weird. Dota has has very quickly spiraled out of control. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure if you came from like another MOBA and saw the shit that people are doing this, you'd be like, what the hell? No wonder this game confuses people. <laughs> people Especially when a month ago, it was just something completely different. Yeah, people always talk about like, oh, denying is so complicated. It's like, dog, that's not even the most... Like, wait until you see bracers. <laughs> <laughs> like, like denying is not complicated at all. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Oh, oh he's in the trees. Look at that him. Is. <laughs> They're like, where's he at? I don't get it. Oh, I thought Dust was supposed to reveal it. What oh, the hell? <laughs> oh, that's sad trombone. Oh, man. He's got the early bots, like oh, you were saying. God. Keep him like he's, second, he's, third he's item bots. pushing the tier three tower <laughs> now. Oh, my God. <laughs> this oh. guy. All right, don't worry. Rubik has Sandstorm now. Nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. He's going to turn it all around. He can go do some push of his own. Yeah. Meanwhile. Oh. Well, what, what's up? What's up, boy? Dazzle got Necro book and Midas no. Necro. Midas Necro. All right, then you got the Midas first. Like, he's gonna be so, so goddamn far. Zayari. 
he always goes ham on these like, different builds you should do on Dazzle. He says Octarine Core first is like the best thing ever. I saw him tweeting about that. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't gonna uh, give him a reply, but I was thinking in my head, I don't know about Octarine Core. I don't know. He plays more about that anti poo. Yeah, yeah he doesn't play Octarine he doesn't play mid. Okay. Let me tell ya. <laughs> Octarine Core is like exclusively like a fourth, fifth, sixth item. Like you, there is no hero in Dota would, if you get like I would be inclined to agree with that. It's it's a luxury late game item. That was that was that was my ar my argument. Uh, I was just like, also the way that the way that cooldown reduction scales, like you get cooldown reduction, but it's reduction on the reduction that you have left. So if you have 50%, it's only 25% of 50% to 12.5%. So Nocturne Core is actually sh like worse on Dazzle. Yeah, you're getting less value heroes. than yeah, exactly. anyone else. Okay. And it's already an item that has sure. very little value. And it's so fucking expensive. Yeah, it's six six thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Gives you like barely any stats for that amount of gold. Octarine Core is an item that almost needs it. Well, I feel yeah. So oh, it's slightly on the weaker side. It's not it's not too bad. Oh no, he's getting away. He's got the Doom out as well. Moon looks like he is about to die to Gabby. Yeah, also JT. I mean this game was way more one side than last Ooh. game. Yeah. Than last that, game. That's that's Damn. I mean, I, is TNC just on point? I think it's two two TB games. This should not be TB. Yeah. Game. yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, that's a good takeaway from Messi. It's like, okay, TB's not working too slow.